Ready? <laughs> Let's do the damn thing. This is the moment that you've all been waiting for. Welcome back to our channel. If you're new and you haven't seen our other videos, this is Michaela. This is Avril's beautiful birth mama. She's part of the family. Hi. And <laughs> we have been fortunate enough to spend the weekend together and we've had so many questions come through our Instagram inbox and so we just thought we'd pick some to answer for you. See, there's so many. Um, I like this one, it's simple to start off. Do we live close to each other? Yes, absolutely. I live probably what, like four, four hours? hours away? Nice, because I feel like a lot of adoptions are like outside of the state. Right. So this like makes it easy for us to keep it open. I was closer, but anyway. You should just move here. Right. Okay, here's another easy one to start. Do we call and talk on the regular? So at the beginning, I would just kind of leave it open to like what Michaela was comfortable with, how often she wanted to talk. But I feel like in the last like six months, we've talked like pretty regularly, which is like, I always joke with her because as soon as we get on FaceTime, Abe starts wrestling and like beating me up. I'm like, Michaela, you gotta talk to him because I'm literally gonna have a black eye by the time we get done with this FaceTime. How did we meet? We actually met through an attorney. I was looking into adoption and an attorney actually hooked me up with their, you get like a little pamphlet or <laughs> brochure basically of like a family and I fell in love with them because Steven's favorite spirit animal is a flamingo. Or and how we met. Too. Like yeah, my favorite is a flamingo also. So, so yeah, that's basically how I chose that. Okay. This is actually kind of a funny question. I have to answer it. Will you guys tell him he's adopted and who his birth mom is when he's older? And I have to answer this because it's <laughs> clear as day. Like, this is Mama Kayla and... So we don't ever have to explain yeah, it. We made it so we don't ever have to really like explain that he was adopted. It's just gonna be known. And known like, from day one. Also, he won't in the future have to like wonder like who is my birth family where did i come from right. what are they like like he they're in his life so it's all known i kind of want to chime in, in on this one <laughs> um last night when ava and i were laying in bed he said mama kayla and i said oh uh, we were talking i said so does do you look like mama kayla or do you look like daddy he sits there and looks down at his hand <laughs> looks at me and looks at his hand and here's daddy so, <laughs> there i'm you just go. saying like there you go <laughs> but you might today, have to explain it I'm, Oh, he said he's Roman You look Reigns. like Roman Reigns. But today it was funny because he was eating lunch with Michaela and he looked at her hand. <laughs> and what did he say? He's so like, I was just like telling him like, he, oh, you have my eyebrows. And we were just like making a conversation. And then all of a sudden he's like, pointed at his arm and then pointed at my arm. And I was like, yeah, we match. He's like, Ugh. I'm brown. You're brown. And I'm like, yeah. It's <laughs> like, so cute. It's awesome like, yes. that I'm here to like, to see it like that, you know what yeah. I mean? So then they don't have to explain it either, like, I don't know. He's like super, yeah. like observant. Very. Look at him, he's like, let me be the center of this camera <laughs> right now. What's my race or like my background? My mom is, believe it or not, Caucasian. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> my mom's white, she has green eyes, naturally like really light brown hair, you would never even guess. So I'm mixed. My dad, or my biological father, is Jamaican and African. That's why I'm very dark complected. And, but my actual father, he's just African American. Who picked out his name? And I love this question because I feel like it was a joint effort. So like, when we had no. met Michaela, talked to Michaela, we had like already kind of had names picked out and we had asked like, do you want us to name him? Like, what do you want? And so she was like fine with us picking his name. So we picked Abriel. Well, Steven like randomly thought of it in the car. I don't <laughs> even know how. And then after we met Michaela, she's like, hey, I would love if you could name his middle name after his brother, Isaiah. And we were like, that is amazing, 100%. We want to do that. And so, yeah, it was like a joint effort, I would yeah. say. So his older brother is Isaiah. That's where we got the middle name. What made me choose the Evans family? They, like I said before, it was a spirit animal thing, which is so... It's like so, so, random. so it's random. So random. So random. So we have the same spirit animal, and then um, they, Ashley has a really big family, 
Steven's family, actually, uh, Steven's dad lives in Arizona. My dad lives in Arizona. It's just weird. Like, the way that everything, like, played out and was, like, set up, like, it's just, like, we kind of just, I don't know. It was, yeah. It was like a match made in heaven. Yeah. And Mikhail and I feel like are super similar. And <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay, so one of the questions someone asked was how many siblings does Abriel have? And Mama Kayla has Witten, which is like one year older than Abe, right? Yep. And then Zoe is eight or nine. Zoe will be 10, 10. in August. <gasps> and then Isaiah, the oldest, Just turned 14. Turned 14. That's yeah. so crazy. So I have two older kids and then Witten, which is Ariel's sister that's right next to him. And then Abe, she's looking for a question. One of the like biggest questions is why I chose adoption. Okay, so totally different change of pace. It got really hectic here earlier, so we took a time out, but we're back to finish answering questions, and we're gonna start where we left off. So Michaela, go ahead. How do you feel when, feel when you see Abe, and do I wish I would've done things differently? Of course, I wish I would've done things differently. Like, that'd be like a normal feeling, I guess. Um. I feel happy and if I'm gonna be honest, sometimes I feel sad. He's at the age right now where he kind of wants his mom. <laughs> and I'm like, aw. <laughs> so it makes me sad, but then it makes me happy because I know that Ashley's a good mom. Um, and when I say I wish I did things differently, I mean, that's just normal. Yeah, yeah. of course. I don't regret anything, but do I wish I would've done things differently of course like that's a normal thing. i think that's so normal yeah and i think it's Definitely. super important if i that, didn't like, feel that way then i wouldn't be sitting here yeah at all well, i'd be like i think I it's good care. for people to like hear that yeah. you know what i mean especially like other people considering choosing adoption just because right. like it's a roller coaster i think like forever you yes, know what i definitely. mean and they yeah it's definitely like I don't know. I feel like I them like, knowing yeah. your feelings will help so many people. Yes. I love this question I just randomly scrolled upon. What can adoptive mamas do to show birth mamas how much we appreciate them? And I feel like it's different in every scenario only because, like, every bond, I think, is going to be totally different. But I think, like, what works for us is, for one, just, like, I feel like I'm always like, Michaela, you have no idea, like, how much I appreciate you. <laughs> But really, be yourself. Let them see, like, your most vulnerable side. Because I always say, like, Michaela didn't really know us that well when she chose us and when April was born. And, like, she had to trust us with, like, the biggest responsibility ever and, like, part of her heart. And so I think the biggest thing that you can do is just be vulnerable. Let them, like, really get to know you. Let them, like, ask you whatever they want and, like... I don't know, I always tell Michaela, there's no question that's off the table. Like, you can literally ask me anything you want. Like, I have an open book. And if you make a promise, keep a promise. If you're making a promise that you're going to keep an open adoption, you better, like, keep it open. Like, no second guessing that you have to know this is, like, for sure what you want. Because you can't play with someone else's heart. So, like, Aww. if you really want someone to respect you and appreciate you back then you have to do what you say you're going to do. And I don't know. Which I always say I'm blessed too because not everybody, like it's not an open adoption. Yeah. Cause it's in our state. You yeah, you can. So it's closed, but she promised me that like I could always have a relationship with him. And so I don't know. It's just something that. Yeah, it's like an agreement and yeah. like, if I promise that to Michaela, like I will never take that promise back. I would be so heartbroken. Yeah, <laughs> and I would too, because like I said, <laughs> like, I heck? don't know how many times, like, I feel like she's like family, and like her family is like my family, so it would be like literally losing like a part and of yourself. And vice versa. We hear a lot about Sissy Witten, but what about brother's name? She, um, he actually has two other siblings. Like they're just like to the age where they have friends and yeah. like they want to do their like, own thing. <laughs> and, they're like, and it's summertime. Like, yeah, it sucks. they're like busier. And so it is harder for us to like get together. And mm -hmm. you know, they're like teenage, like teenagers. Right. It's so crazy. But they are 
They're kind of actually mad that I'm here right now, though. Really? Yes. Why? Well, because they want to be here, but then they have other things going on. Yeah. Like, my son, they had birthday parties and all that stuff, so. Yeah. We try to FaceTime, like, do a three times. Yes. Three -way FaceTime. April FaceTimed Isaiah, yeah. like, four times today. Yeah. And, <laughs> and Zoe, when they thought they were going to be able to come this weekend, texted and said, can we do some TikTok together? <laughs> so, yeah. they're the sweetest and the most beautiful kids I've ever seen. Like, all of them. Yeah, I'm going to answer this one just because I feel like this is another question that gets asked a lot. And it's usually along the lines of, like, does she want him back? Obviously, like, Avril is Michaela's son. So, like, she will always be his mom. And there's always, I think, going to be a part that's like, oh, my gosh, I wish I could just, like, take him home. I wish I could have, like, undo this. No. No? No. Really? Never. I just um, feel like we get this question so much. Like, I, we need to personally, answer. I don't want him back because I know he's very, like, stable here. I would never want to take him from them ever in a million years. Do I think, like what it would be like if he was with me yeah. instead of them absolutely like what would my life be like yeah if he was with me but i never think like oh i'm gonna come to yeah him. like not in like a way never. of like i'm gonna take him back but right. obviously you're gonna like I, think about yeah like, just like if i didn't do it yeah then what would it be like how yeah. would it be like and i, I think, think like that so i don't normal. think like i want to take him ever i always think like what if i didn't yeah, this. yeah, like, like uh, what oh would gosh. what would I be doing right now if Avril was here? Or yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Uh, Michaela, has the adoption process been what you've imagined? It's been more than what I've imagined, like in a good way. <laughs> like in a good way. Um, I thought it was gonna be like horrible and traumatic, and you hear horror stories, but. If you pick the right people and you have good vibes and all of that other stuff and you get like their real, the real, a lot of, a lot of birth mothers don't take the time to kind of actually like know their rights first and foremost, yeah. know how much time you have, know how much everything, like I probably put her through hell for the first but week, like but I also had to do that for myself. Yeah. Because I needed to know. So even if you pick the right parents, it's still traumatic. Yes, very. Like, the very. process is going to be traumatic right. regardless. But but now it's amazing because I picked the right people. And even still, like, I'm sure sometimes it's hard. Like, when Abe was sick when we were overseas. Oh, yeah. Like, there's going to be, like, Just when they were in Africa. Like, I was in contact with her, like, almost the whole time. And as soon as she says that he was <laughs> sick, I was like... I cut all like communication off with her and that's what I do when I'm like emotional or like when I like want that yeah. like m motherly instinct still kicks yeah. in when he falls when he cries like and I see it before she sees it like anything like that it still kicks in like yeah normal like a normal mom so when he got sick in Africa I was like mm, no, <laughs> I'm done talking like I, so, I didn't talk to her yeah. the rest of the trip so I was like so sad that he was sick but and it's funny because i know her well enough that like i can tell just in her response i'm like okay i know i know like how i don't know how she's feeling because i've never been there but i know like kind of what's going on in her brain so i always like take a step back and i'm like when she's ready she'll reach back out yeah. but like there's always going to be ups and downs with adoption so right. I don't know. I just think that's something that even on both sides, like everyone should know about. And as adoptive, like parents, you should be there to like support them when they need that. And I don't know. I'm like, another question is we yeah. always get, we look alike. We do not freaking look alike. <laughs> we do not look alike. <laughs> and and are we related? No, we are not related. Our lawyers at the time were like, you guys look alike. And yeah. We're like, no, we don't. No, no. <laughs> I think people just like, want to like say, say something that like, yeah. and like want to believe that even when people say like abe looks like me i do not see it in any way shape or form because he is like your twin so i think people just like look for things but then i like look at comments and it makes me laugh because everyone's like arguing back and we forth just about do, if like that like. ancestry thing the ans someone said that today <laughs> to the ancestry okay i like this question is there any animosity or jealousy when michaela was pregnant like that was still at a time where i was like oh my god I wish I could like be experiencing these things and I feel like that's normal like you're going to have times where 
you're like not I don't have any animosity at all right. but like I feel like at that point I was like oh my gosh I'm jealous like I wish I could like feel the baby kick or you know like see my belly grow and stuff like that like we're so close that there is no like jealousy yeah. I'm trying to think of something that I'm jealous of you about like anything like I'm trying to think I'm jealous of your <laughs> booty <laughs> like that's oh, like I'm the jealous kind of, of your jealousy. flat stomach. No, okay, but that goes back to like I yeah, okay, yeah, okay. like but a normal like, woman yeah, thing. Like I, we had joked, well not joked, we had said like, okay, Abe, do you want a sister? And Michaela had seen like us talking about Instagram about like another baby. Oh, and she's yeah, like, I'm your baby mama. That's like a jealousy <laughs> thing. Like, I got like, jealous. You are not ever having another baby mama. No, like yeah. I'm the baby mama. Yeah. Thanks for all the comments saying that I'm so pretty. By the way. There's like so many like <laughs> there's not really any so usually when you put a question box I feel like some people come in just to like say to something mean. mean but no one has done that at there's, all the whole weekend which yeah, is really really nice it's really like uplifting and yeah. I'm, we're hoping that we can like just inspire so many people and I don't know we just want to be like a positive yeah positive like what like space on the internet so another question people ask is how will I navigate if Avril ever decides that he wants to live with Michaela when he's older? And I feel like that's going to happen. Like that's going to be normal, especially when he's a teenager and he's mad and he's like, I'm going to go live with mom Michaela. And we both kind of like talked about it. And one of my favorite things Michaela said was like, yeah, tell him to come live with me. And he's going to like, <laughs> hey, he's, I'm going to whip him into shape. And like, we're like so on, like similar right. with how our parenting styles are we're both like super laid back if they want snacks at like midnight we're gonna give snacks um, like I don't think there's really anything we disagree on parenting wise right. but it is <laughs> funny because whenever Michaela visits she's like all right Abe you ready to get potty trained and he looks at her he's like no like she's like you want to use the big boy potty no. no and I'm like Michaela I'm so lazy I am not ready to potty <laughs> train you when I visit is it hard to not parent Abriel like my other children it's not hard at all. I just do it. <laughs> it's not hard at all. Today? I tell him no. I like today he wanted like the bubble thingy or whatever, and Ashley told me that I had to watch the bubbles or whatever. So he came over to grab them, and I like took the bag. And I was like no, and he like looked at me like, "Are you serious?" <laughs> and I was like, "No, sorry. <sighs> I don't know. No, it's, it's not like hard. Normal, but I, I do it with my friends." No, my, so it's the same. My favorite thing is when I'm like, okay, Michaela, you want to change this poopy diaper? And she's like, no, that's all you. I'm like, come on. <laughs> that's your responsibility yeah, now. She's like, not doing it. It's all you. He calls me um, Mama Michaela. Yeah, by Mama the way. Michaela. And people are like, is that, is that weird? Like, I'm like, no, that's no. his mom. Like, there was one time when Abe was born, and you're like, he can call me Auntie, and I'm like, you're not his aunt. You're right. his mom. Like, he's gonna call you Mama Kayla. He's gonna call and you Mama. And sometimes I whatever. don't even say Mama, the Mama part. Like when I'm talking to him, I'm like, can Kayla hold you? Like, I don't know. It's just like, it, I don't know. Yeah, it's just whatever. Like, it comes is out whatever. Of our yeah. At the time. I did see a question earlier, and it's not here, but it, that reminded me of it. Someone said like, do you think it will confuse him? Like this dynamic will confuse him when he grows. And I honestly think it will be better for him. Yeah. Like, obviously that's what we want is his best interest. That's like forever what we'll strive to do. For sure. And for him to know, like for one, that he wasn't placed for adoption because he wasn't loved or because he wasn't wanted. Like his birth family loves him so much and he never has to question that. He never has to wonder like, who is my birth mom or like, I don't know. He's just going to grow up knowing that he has two families that love him unconditionally. And so I don't think it will be confusing. I think he'll he'll be so happy to know how loved he is. Um, do the visits with Abe make it easier or harder? At first, it was hard. Like, the first visit was super hard, I feel like, to, like, yeah, start it. But then after that, no, it makes it, it doesn't... I don't know. It doesn't affect yeah. me like that. I don't well, know. Well, and I feel like... I feel like something's wrong with me. Am I broken? Because these questions are like... <laughs> <laughs> am I not a good person? No. <laughs> People say Because like, I'm just like... It doesn't bother me. Like, I think it's because we're so close. Like, yeah. And I also FaceTime them like t two to three times a week. Yeah. So it's like... It's... I don't know. Would you guys be comfortable with letting Abe go visit her alone at this time? I won't answer that. No. <laughs> because 
he is very clingy very clingy and I don't ever want him to feel uncomfortable I don't ever want him to feel scared um, that's almost like going with a stranger in a certain aspect like I am his birth mom but I don't I would never take him alone like on a visit alone no it's not that I mean maybe when he's older and like driving himself and he's like hey can I go to Mom, yeah. Michaela's or house, even when or, he like understands. Hey, my brother like, has a football game, and because when yeah. he's in college or something, can I go with Isaiah to his football game? And he's in high school, and Isaiah's in college. Like, of course, you know what I mean, like stuff like that. But like, as of like today and right now, no, I ant I'll answer that for you guys. <laughs> like, no, he won't even let me change his diaper because I told him I'm not changing his. <laughs> Will there ever be a brother or sister for little man? Stay tuned for the future, okay? That's all we're gonna say. <laughs> don't go anywhere. You don't wanna miss it. <laughs> Ever. Love you all. We appreciate Definitely. all of the love you guys show. And we hope you continue to follow along. We have like so many crazy things in store for all of A you. A lot. So <laughs> don't, go, don't go anywhere. And I just feel like now is the time for me to say that that is something that I want to explain to Abriel personally and not the world. Like, so when he asks me why I chose adoption, that's when I'm definitely gonna open up more about that. I might throw a little bit here and there about why I did it, but nothing like right off the bat. You're not gonna get that from me, so please stop asking. <laughs> and honestly, like, she doesn't owe a response to that question to anyone just because we choose to share things like about our family and that we have an open adoption it doesn't mean that we have to disclose everything that you guys want to know because at the end of the day this is our lives that you're talking about this is Michaela's life and everything personal doesn't have to be shared on the internet and it's such a personal thing between like her and Avril that they can share together that I don't know not everything is everyone's business.